Hello and welcome to your intuitive energy update for the week of November 25th to December 1st. Uh, and the word and the theme of the week, if you're if you're new to this, welcome, is space. That's what I picked up. So as the collective energy, uh, I tune in uh, to my guides, my angels, my loved ones, the collective, and yours as well. And whoever shows up, that's the message for you. There might be bits and pieces that you resonate with and other ones. Maybe not so much, but uh, overall, the word or the theme for the week is space. Now, of course, I, I immediately go to space, universe, quantum physics. Um, and yes, it, it's saying all of that. Um, it's, it's more about um, your space, energetically, like emotionally, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Um, we'll come back to space here, but, um, I, if you don't know who I am, my name's Christine, I'm with 24 Karat Healing, and I'm your spiritual medium, intuitive energy coach, and old soul healer. Uh, new moon coming up here on the 26th, so, um, all about new beginnings, new opportunities, new growth, fresh starts, intentions, um, however you honor that, um, uh, lighting a candle, um, you know, smudging your space, of course, um, more self care, um, whatever it happens to entail. And then writing that out as well on paper, what, uh, your intentions are, um, what you're looking to manifest, um, until the next new moon, go for it. Um, there is no right, no wrong, just do, all right, do you. Uh, and if you're looking for help and guidance uh, for that as well, just comment below and uh, I can send you some ideas for the new moon. Uh, it is in Sagittarius and Sagittarius, the, the symbol is a centaur. Um, you know, they're known for, um, they're actually natural healers, but I'll take it a step further and say that all of us are natural healers, all right? <laughs> and Mercury went direct uh, last week as well, so that was amazing. Um, a lot of, you know, collective sigh of relief. Um, it does, it did mess with a lot of electronics and communication, um, and causes a lot more frustration and anger because it, it's communication. Essentially, it's the ruler of communication. So, and I don't look at it as a bad thing. I look at it as, um, take notice, take heed, um, don't sign any big contracts. Don't get into, it's more of a time to pull back, <laughs> which is, there's nothing wrong with that at all. All right. Um, so this space, um, divine mother, mother earth and earth and how I see divine mother earth in our 3d world and divine mother or sorry, mother earth is the earth. <laughs> Um, there are spaces, spaces for healing. What's in your space? Is it restricted? That's what we're asking. Is it flowing? Is it expansive? All right. Clearing spaces. I see, you know, especially here with the third eye. Third eye is all about your intuition. Getting crystal clear. Um, peppermint oil is a great way <laughs> to uh, connect uh, with the third eye as well. And it's so refreshing. It's one of my favorite essential oils. Um, so really just, you know, whatever you're drawn to or you're using or resonate with, go with it. Go with what feels good, essentially. So um, we're, we're seeing decalcification, um, the veil being lifted more, meditate more, um, space is presence in the now, fully be, find your space, grow your space, feed your space. I see an inner sanctuary within, holy. Union of yin and yang, and yin is, you know, the, you got the feminine and the masculine aspects, but we're seeing as there's no space here, it's an integration. That's that's huge. Um, 
in our oneness. We are unlimited, unlimited. All right, going to go to the cards. We use the Energy Oracle deck. And yeah, uh, this week I we're, we're feeling one card. One card. So uh, what is the theme to go with uh, space for a highest good? What do we need to know? And it fell out right away. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the thinking man. All right. All right. Do you see? Gosh, look at that crystal. Look at that crystal. Um, beautiful, beautiful quartz, quartz energy going on here. The feathers as well. For me, I see smudging and clearing energy. It's the male of wisdom and understanding, which is within all of us. Um, he's thoughtful and reflective, uh, representing the potential presence of a teacher, okay, in your life now and about to arrive soon to educate you in the finer details um, of your chosen direction or assist you in specific spiritual, mental, and emotional pursuits. Uh, just pay attention. Pay attention, all right? Um, uh, I, I just see it as a new male friend. I, I know in the, in the book it's saying a love interest, but we're feeling this is just a friend, a mentor, a guide. Um, and just be open. Learn what you can. A new discipline, a new technique, a course of study. Healing practice could change your life forever. And yeah, actually they're taking it a step further and not saying it's not necessarily a man. So don't be attached to that as well. Um, just your affirmation is you're willing to learn new things. It is safe and comfortable for me to open up and share. All right. This is expansive. This is reflective. There is a lot, yeah, a lot more learning and thinking going on, a strategy, um, and just being open. Uh, go for it. Say yes more. Um, don't let the ego get involved with this, okay? Um, four and six is one, so your one energy is all about the intuition. In numerology, one is intuition. Just go with it. Gut spidey senses it's your protection right it is it serves you in your highest in, in for your highest good for the good of all all right so the thinking man woman person uh whoever it happens to be all right just be on the lookout for that this week all right so the one cart and I also wanted to, I had a video a couple days ago about mentorship and that came in last week's message, which, you know, last week was all about pure, finding your purity, finding your connection to God, to source, to the divine. Um, now it's all about that space, like getting ready for that, right? Those weeks are tying together here. Um, and we have 30 days until 2020. So, I, we have chosen someone for the mentorship for December. Um, there's a waiting list. If you'd like to be on the waiting list to have a complimentary mentorship with myself, that's my way of giving back. And what does it look like? What are the details? I, you know, will share that with you, but it's all about intuitive development, spiritual development, development with self and in four weeks, you are going to have the kickstart or the kick in the ass that you need to get going, okay? We're not waiting for January. The time is now to start thinking about these things, all right? Um, so comment mentorship and uh, we'll get you connected there. And I am still doing group readings, of course. So if you have parties, um, I can do them online and in person if you are in Edmonton or Yig area surrounding area. I do travel uh, within Alberta as well. And I've had requests for Saskatchewan and BC, but uh, those are coming. So if you're looking for group readings or even um, house clearing, if you're having some type of energy going on in your home as well. Um, so just comment, um, uh, you know, group readings or parties as well, if you want some information or, uh, you know, get in touch with me. I'm you can find me anywhere on social media, Facebook, Instagram, 
Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn. I think, oh yeah, I covered them all. All right. <laughs> and, uh, and please subscribe below on YouTube and don't miss, uh, you know, I have videos uh, that come out quite a few times a week. I also have a, um, I have guests on every Wednesday called The Power of Healing Your Energy. Uh, last week was amazing. I had Copal. He is a shaman. Um, he is in Portugal. Uh, pretty exciting guy. So if you want to go back and check that out, uh, there it's up on YouTube. But um, also, I we we're drawn to do a energy for 2020, a review reading, meaning you get targeted messages for you for the year. Um, so comment uh, 2020 to get on the waiting list, pricing, mailing list. Um, you know, I'm going to send that out by email. You'll have all the information and pricing for that. So, wow. All right. So <laughs> we're going to wrap this up. It's all about your space. There's the new moon coming um, as well. Uh, fresh starts, healing, flowing, expansion, third eye, peppermint. And Janet Jackson, uh, the song came in, That's the Way Love Goes. So I just see it flowing. Anyways, I want to wish you guys love, light, and blessings. And please remember, healing begins where the ego ends.